Our team coverage on the budget repair bill continues as News Free's Margot Spann takes a look at the possible legal issues surrounding the Senate's vote last night. But first, let's go to Andy Choi. He's live outside the state capitol where another protest is getting underway. Andy? Eric and Susan, as you can see behind me, all of the sights and sounds that we've been, you know, we've grown accustomed to for the past three weeks are all here tonight. But I have to tell you that today felt a little more disappointing. I spoke to a man at the rally tonight that started at 5 o'clock, and he told me that today just feels sad and that he may actually lose his house because of all of this. And he wanted us to tell these stories, the stories that will unfold after this budget bill passes after the governor's signature. Now, all throughout the day, though, you know, with the virtual, uh, a virtual imminent vote in the assembly hanging in the balance, protesters continued to keep hope alive for their cause. All within the echoes of dissent, protesters remain steadfast as police remove those disobeying orders to exit the campus. We just cleared everybody out of the uh, uh, entry to the assembly room. There was about 100 people in there. They just filed them out one by one. We dragged a lot of people out. I mean, they wouldn't even let us, let us in. Well, they Outside the Capitol, Representative Joe Parisi with the Reverend Jesse Jackson ran into roadblocks attempting to get inside for the assembly session. One man even tried lodging his arm into one of the entrances. Law enforcement leaders say while emotions remained at a fever pitch, public safety during the lockdown was never in question. We have been uh, supporting each other from the standpoint of making sure that this stays a peaceful event both inside the Capitol and outside. Ultimately, the state lifted its Capitol lockdown, but not before Democratic leaders condemned the move. They just keep coming up with excuse after excuse as to why they're going to do not only the unprecedented, but the unthinkable. Now, this rally at 5 o'clock uh, unfolded on the corner of Mifflin and State Street, which is a far cry from the massive crowds that we've seen on the weekends. And it's this coming weekend that protesters are really looking forward to, to continue to build momentum for this movement. They know, they acknowledge that something huge has unfolded down at the Capitol, but they hope that with massive crowds this weekend, they could rebuild, re-energize that energy and keep fighting their fight. Andy Choi reporting live from the State Capitol. Andy, thanks.